Hey, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to um, we're going to go out on the uh, um, out on the runway. We're going to do some taxi testing, and the objectives for today are uh, number one: we want to um, monitor temperatures, see how everything's going um, with the engine on the ground, and then uh, the uh, the uh, other objective is to basically get some slow speed. Um, taxiing in, checking out uh, how touchy are the controls. I needed to verify. Um, so the other uh, objective is to uh, check and see how um, the tailwheel adjustment that I've made, um, how that works out. Before, when I was taxiing around just in the free taxi area, I had to uh, hold left rudder um, to keep it going straight. So we'll see how that's changed. Um, and. Uh, yeah, so uh, the uh, other thing is, you know, I'm going to do a kind of a progressive taxi. Obviously, I'll taxi slow down the taxiway, and then when I get on the runway, um, I'll taxi uh, uh, just progressively a little bit faster, and then hopefully maybe the third or fourth time through, I'll start to take a little pressure off the tail and see, uh, just to see how the plane, how it reacts. So. Okay, so uh, let's get in, let's get started, let's go. the engine running and uh, hopping in and the uh, starting procedure is getting better uh, I'm still sort of developing what my technique is um, you could see that I was kind of priming it with everything turned off except the fuel pump um, you just uh, on compression you take it backwards a few times and then that kind of helps prime it interesting with this engine you know exactly when it's going to start because it starts to make an interesting uh, kind of a thump sound uh, like you hear this sound coming out of the exhaust and it's going to fire right up so this was about three or four uh, props so this taxiing out is, um, is is an important part of the uh, important part of the phase here because I'm just really trying to get a feel for how fast to taxi and uh, at this point I'm just focusing on staying on the uh, on the lines um, so I can kind of be um, specific and actually really try and focus and concentrate on what it's gonna take to, to keep it straight. Now there's a ever so slight five knot crosswind um, that was kind of coming from the south, which is, is now I'm going actually downwind at this point on this taxi and then I'm Getting out onto the main taxiway, the wind's going to actually be coming from my right. So I was just uh, just out of precaution, just using a little aileron into the wind and trying to focus on that. At the same time, try, trying to focus on everything else. So the taxi down to the end, uneventful, um, very very easy. Now I don't have voice recording in the cockpit yet. Um, so you're hearing me be a voiceover. I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. And what I have to figure out is I don't have an intercom, as most airplanes do, so it would be more challenging for me. Um, it's going to be a little more challenging for me to figure it out. Now, the recording device I'm getting, I can actually put a lavalier mic in my headset, and you can hear the radio transmissions, but you really can't hear me talk um, while, I'm, uh, while I'm in the air. So that I'm still trying to figure out because when I speak in my microphone, I don't hear myself. So that's obviously without an intercom, that's what's going to happen. And maybe there's something simple that's battery operated that I can use to uh, to just uh, have a very small, lightweight um, intercom 
connected somehow. But I'll, I'll figure that out as we go. So, so here I'm getting uh, out onto the runway. The tower was extremely helpful um, and uh, really just kind of said, what is it that you want to do? And, and uh, it, so he was able to accommodate me and he basically gave me the intersection he wanted me to turn off on. So I'm just very smoothly applying power here. And uh, one thing I noticed uh, right away is that the, as a lot of you have already indicated to me, it's very, very touchy on the ground and it just requires a lot of quick, um, a lot of quick movements with the feet. But um, in, in general, I'm, I'm doing a pretty good job here of maintaining the center line. And uh, I don't know if you can see um, in the video here, the, the rudder movement, there's quite a bit of very small movements. So there's no big swings or anything, just very tiny, fast movements with the feet to keep everything going on center. So now I've reached my intersection um, where the tower was requested. There was another plane in the pattern, so I was not uh, I was not out there by myself. And I don't know if you saw it on the first pass off to the left. There was a coyote on the runway when I first got onto the runway. And uh, by the time I, I passed by, he was off to the left on one of these intersections. And then he was joined by my second pass. He was joined by a second coyote. And uh, they were causing a little bit of problems because the plane that was in the pattern actually uh, had to do low approaches rather than rather than go uh, touch and goes, which is, which is what he had. Plan. So, uh, so now I'm getting back out onto runway for another uh, another run here, and as you can see, there is more than enough runway. Um, I have 7,000 feet of runway here, 100 feet wide. I have all the room in the world, but I'm not letting that uh, uh, cause me to be lazy, or um, I'm still being very strict on myself here, where I'm working very hard to make sure I maintain this center line. And I really like the fact that we have these these two different views um, because it's really helpful to come back and look at this and say, hey, how, how did things go? I sort of I sort of can feel like how things are going. And mind you, my airspeed's not alive in any of these, so I'm not exactly sure. Um, I have a feeling that I'm probably going somewhere around 20 miles an hour um, and in this pass I'm starting to release some of the pressure on the stick uh, on the elevator and the tail's getting a little bit light and I actually like how this feels better than the other one um, or better than a lot of pressure on the tail but there you can see I got hit just a little bit from the uh, from the left by just a little bit of wind um, and I overcorrected I really didn't need hardly anything, and uh, by the time I pressed the rudder, I was I was already off the center line. But fortunately, I was able to able to scoot over there and get right back on that. So now we're gonna um, we're gonna go around again. Um, I think I did four or five of these passes, so so I'm just showing you uh, some of those, and so now we're gonna come to the whole line and. I'm going to request to repeat that again, and so we'll go around, and this time on the third try, I actually um, uh, gave a little more power and uh, released the pressure on the uh, elevator, which um, I could definitely tell when the pressure came off the elevator that um, my attention to the rudders became, uh, be became more important, so um, I had to be even more focused on uh, maintaining center line as I release the pressure on the on the tail, which which makes sense um, because I'm starting to use more probably aerodynamically the rudders taking over and the the tail wheel is just lightly um, I don't know if it came off I can't quite tell from the video if the tail came off come, um, off the runway at, at all um, but I know it got extremely light back there so uh, so this pass. The uh, coyotes were no longer a factor. <laughs> they had moved on, so I didn't have to worry about them. 
Um, but this one actually went really smooth. I was able to, at a little higher speed than the last ones, I was able to maintain really good tracking uh, on the center line. So. And here you can see I'm releasing the pressure on the tail um, as I speed up a little bit. And it, uh, the tail's just getting really, uh, really light here. Quite a bit of movement um, in the rudder. But the elevator was certainly not at, uh, not at neutral at any point during all of these tests today. Next time out, um, I believe I will make an attempt to uh, do some runs with the tail up off the ground. So. All right, so uh, we're back and shut down. <clears throat> and uh, uh, so my debrief is, uh, uh, you know, the objectives were all met. Um, I was able to <clears throat> monitor the uh, engine temperatures, which actually uh, stayed perfect, like right, right in the middle, right where they should be. As a matter of fact, the oil actually never got, uh, never got up to um, maximum temperature the whole time. I'm guessing that's going to take some full throttle run to make that happen. Um, and I do want to do another full throttle run tied to the tied down um, uh, pretty soon, just to uh, d double check those high RPMs because I haven't, uh, even though I've got steady RPM now, I haven't ran it up to the full RPM. When I first got out on the taxiway, um, uh, I had to make very small. Uh, movements with my feet uh, quick and small and so I kind of knew what to expect when I got on the runway things were a little better uh, on the runway I think I don't remember what pass it was I got a little bit left the center line and um, I felt a little uh, just a little gust I mean there's very little wind blowing right now so I could, shouldn't really call it a gust but something pushed me a little bit I could feel the pressure of it anyway so I overcorrected and got over to the left a little and as I got off center line the runway got a little bit rougher even though it's very smooth runway um, I could definitely feel a difference it was bouncing a little bit more but when I began to take pressure off in those later passes uh, things were actually feeling really good I, I will have to look at the video and obviously see whether or not the uh, tail actually got off the ground but it was definitely light pressure definitely light pressure uh, uh, I was I mean everything was very light and I'm anxious to see you know was I neutral or close to neutral um, <clears throat> didn't mess with the trim at all it really wasn't uh, wasn't necessary for these uh, passes but um, hey that was great to get a few in just kind of start to feel it out on the ground and uh, felt very comfortable um, taxiing actually and when I got on the runway, um, I, actually, I felt very comfortable there as well. Um, and I just have to get my quick feet uh, working because on asphalt, that's what's definitely going to be required. Um, I have to had to act um, very quick. We'll see on the video how that looks later. But uh, hey, thanks for coming along. Uh, I'm looking forward to a lot more of these um, as you get to follow my uh, flight test procedures. I'll show you the taxi 
portion of, uh, of my uh, test card later and we can fill some of that out and uh, make a few notes on how things went. So, all right, thanks so much and uh, I'll catch you later.